Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztofa Staszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University and you can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today, for exam FM. Ernie makes deposits of 100 at time 0 and X at time 3. The fund grows at a force of interest delta sub t equal to t squared over 100 for t greater than 0. The amount of interest earned from time 3 to time 6 is X. Calculate X. So we are given the force of interest and based on that we can um, figure out what the accumulation function is. Accumulation function value at time t is equal to e to the integral from 0 to t of the force of interest. So um, using s as a variable of s squared over 100 ds. And of course the integral of that function is s cubed over 300 and we evaluate it from 0 to t and at 0 it's equal to 0 so this is e to the power t, hundred, uh, t, t cubed sorry, over 300. t cubed over 300. The amount in the account at time 3 just before the deposit of x is made is the accumulated value of the initial deposit of 100 so it's 100 times a of 3. So 100 times e uh, to the power of 3 cubed over 300, uh, which is uh, 3 cubed is uh, 27. So 27 divided by 300. So it's the same as 0.09. Um, and uh, so it's 100 e times e to the 0.09, or approximately 109.42, I have more digits here, but it's roughly that amount. And then between times 3 and 6, the accumulation process can be summarized by this equation, that we have this accumulated value of 100 times e to the 0.09 plus a deposit of x accumulating from time 3 to time 6, so multiplied by a of 6 over a of 3, which is e to the uh, power 6 cubed over 300 minus 3 cubed over 300. Um, and then if we subtract from that accumulated value the initial value of 100 e to the 0 0.09 plus x, then what we get is the amount of interest which we are told is x. Well, this is a linear equation with respect to x. And all we need to do is just solve it for x. Um, actually, that x on the right-hand side, um, together with the minus x from the second part of the left-hand side, that would put a 2 in front of the x on the right-hand side. And then x multiplied by, those, by e to those the difference of those two expressions, that will move to the right-hand side with the minus sign, and then that's how we get all the rest divided by 2 minus e to the, the difference of those two fractions. But basically, this is a linear equation for x. We solve it, and from that, well, it's a bit of a calculation, but we get uh, 784.59 approximately, which is answer E. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself be belongs to a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. The problem is used with permission from the society of actuaries. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.